perfume is not something that you can see or touch. It's an emotion and feeling. Suddenly has a massive presence. It's like when you enter a room and when you leave as well, so you leave your trail of essence behind with everybody. Hi, I'm Addie Glasser and I'm a perfume designer. I originally started um, working as creative director with a perfume house about 20 years ago. A lot of perfumes I thought smelt the same, looked the same. So I created my own perfume brand and then I started a bespoke business probably about 15 years ago and mainly a lot of my clients are the Hollywood actors. I never really realised I had an exceptional nose. You don't really get taught perfumery at school. And it's almost like that's the one sense that everyone sort of ignores. I mean, one of the, my memories that I have is when, is when my mother used to go to parties with my father. So she would, you know, put on her fur coat and her false eyelashes and her lipstick. And then the last thing she would do is, is spray her perfume. And then she'd give me a kiss goodnight and then she'd leave. And I remember this amazing, very kind of expensive, sophisticated smell that she'd leave behind. I thought, oh God, one day I might own a bottle of perfume. I thought perfume was the most, it's like the jewel, the ultimate finishing touch. Working with Amafi has been very exciting and it's always really different and unique. You know, it's wonderful when you have a brief that, that you can just, you can, create whatever you want but it's bringing alive a story to me it's very important to have certain quality of ingredients in a perfume um, and you know there's no limit in terms of what I can use and where it comes from it not only comes alive in terms of when it's in the bottle but when it touches your skin it's quite magical it's quite quite a magical experience tears of Cinder is a very provocative feminine sensual perfume that it has this empowerment that's very enriching as well it's got beautiful ingredients in there the original smell of lipstick that's something that is um, that has heritage with me it's just something I you know just got, it was a magnetism about it so um, it's got these wonderful notes of tuberose, champaca, flower, which is just beautiful, osmanthus as well. And combined, it sort of gives that, this wonderful sort of sensual, sexy provocation, richness from the leather and also oud and uh, earthy notes of patchouli, some woody notes of sandalwood, which just gives that longevity on the skin as well. Yeah, Lucky Dice is, is, is a great um, fragrance for men because it's, it's very desirable, but it's real alpha male as well. It's something that you sort of know, you know, when, you, when, when he's wearing it, there's an intelligence and aura about him that you feel very safe as well and protected by this sort of warrior. <laughs> Some nice exotic notes of saffron, divana, um, there's a lot of oud in there as well. It just gives that kind of richness and depth to the fragrance um, with frankincense, myrrh, some incense, some great resins in there that, that give it this sort of wonderful molecule that enhances the longevity of the fragrance. It's really nice to have that individualism in perfume when a client picks up perfume, God, I've never smelt that before. It smells different and an original style that you can't find anywhere else. I'm telling different stories through my perfumes and at the same time matching the brand philosophy that Amafi has, um, which, which works really well in terms of the style that I have in creating perfumes. The particular bond I have with Mrs. Amafi is it's almost like a marriage made in heaven, which works really well and it's always nice to be excited to, to see somebody and work with them. We can talk for hours on different scents and different ingredients and talking about moleculars. She has a great magnetic quality about herself and I, I think the perfumes that I create for her also enhance the magnetic quality that she has and also that the brand gives off. Whenever I go and visit Amafi and their beautiful boutiques, there's something that's that you, that you feel that you're transported into this sort of fantasy world and it's very heavenly. It's really nice to kind of feel that characteristic because it's important to then translate that into the perfumes as well. And Murphy's a great company to work with. They're intelligent, they hold values that are very important 
not only within the company, but also for the world as well. Yeah, I really enjoy working with them and um, long may they continue as well. I think we've got a, a long relationship ahead of us and, you know, and it's exciting. <laughs>